Welcome back, my wee budget family. How y'all been, my loves? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How are y'all doing? I feel like it's been a minute, but it's probably only been like a week. <laughs> but how have y'all been? We are back with another cash stuffing video. And let me go ahead and pull up my little book. So I used my um, digital budget book earlier to budget this paycheck to do my denomination breakdown. So I just want to pull that up on the side of me really quickly so that I can remember what my allocations are and my denominations because I'll be quick to forget and then I'll be over here like, why am I short X amount of money? So we are back to do another cash stuff. We are back to do another cash stuff. Yeah. Like, let's hop right into Big it. Girl is opened up. Let me go ahead and move this out. Um, There is no money. <laughs> There's no rollover. Uh, I don't even know what we stuffed in these things the last time but there is no rollover at all um no dollars in there as you can see but we do have some coins so let's stuff elaine with the coins that we have hold on i feel like some of the receipts in here i've scanned and some i haven't so we have to work on that um how have you all been i hope you all doing well tomorrow is june t what tomorrow is juneteenth represent 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 okay um and so thank god i have the day off when i tell y'all i'm not going to get well i have to get up for morning prayer so i'm going to get up for 6 a.m prayer but when i say i'm going back to sleep and i don't want nobody to bother me like i wish that i had blackout curtains in my room because if I have blackout curtains or blackout blinds, do you understand? I wouldn't move until it looked like it was sunny outside. And because it's blackout curtains, it just wouldn't. So I would just be in bed all day. I'm telling you, I don't want to move tomorrow <laughs> unless it is an absolute emergency. But then there's also another side of me. Who knows? I have a lot of planning to do. Y'all have so much happening right now. I have a lot of planning to do and I want to get up and go to like Panera Bread or somewhere to, ooh, to just sit down and just clear my head. You know, it's some scenes where it just be like, people be outside and they be doing all of this beautiful thing outside and the nature and all that kind of stuff. I'm, it, 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 <laughs> it's just not for me. The bugs are just extreme and it's just not for me. She's getting very, very heavy. I cannot wait. This is the first time ever in my life. Let's take her um, snot off so you can see what's going on inside. This is the first time ever in my life. Can you see? I don't know if you can see what's all up in there. But yeah, she's she's getting full. Um, first time ever in my life that I've had a piggy bank that I'm putting money into that I just have not touched. I have not gone in here to pull out any money. And, and before I would go inside of my piggy banks because... I would need the money. I am so grateful that I'm able to now put the money inside of there and I have not touched it. I feel good about that. Um, but yeah, I'm not the girly that could go outside and sit somewhere. So maybe I'll find like a Starbucks or like a, a little Panera to go and just do some work tomorrow because I really want to be productive. But I also need to do some housework tomorrow. So it's just, you know, okay. So now we're going to stuff our wallet and we're going to stuff some sink sinking funds today. So let's go ahead and see how much we will be stuffing today. This this little mat right here is a lot smaller as far as like width, length, width, whatever this is right here. <laughs> whatever that is. It's a lot shorter that was and I don't like it. But we're going to work with it because I'm not spending no more money. This is going to have to deal. 20, 40, 60, 80. 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. 90, 2, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. So we have $295 that we are stuffing today. All right. So let's go ahead and get to stuffing. Again, in my categories, there's nothing there. So for Deb Renee, 
I may have or may not have decided to add in this a screen recording of me doing my budget breakdown. But the thing about it is when I'm putting it on YouTube, I don't show you like my numbers when it comes to my income and my bills. Um, and if you've been watching me for some time, then you understand why I do not do that. Um, because I have explained why I do not do that on my channel, but I just, I, I pick up showing my numbers from my variable expenses, sinking funds, savings challenges, and debt. And so like my fixed expenses and all that you don't really see. So I may or may not have decided to put that in this video. If I do, then it was there. If not, that's cool. I'm just going to go based off of what I'm seeing in my budget book right now. So Deborah Nay gets $20 and that's two tens. So let me grab two tens. Do y'all have any plans for Juneteenth tomorrow? Um, I got a coupon in the mail to get fireworks and it's like the, oh, I think it's in here because I didn't want to forget it. So it looks like this. It's like the Rolling Thunder that was supposed to be 160. They're giving it, they're selling it for $65 now. And it's all of that in there. So I'm thinking of, you know, taking them up on that offer and finding me a fan of fireworks and going to go get some fireworks. Because I keep telling myself every single year that I'm going to get fireworks and I never do. Um, but as far as tomorrow, tomorrow, I just plan to sleep. Let us rest from our labor. <laughs> like, that's all I plan to do tomorrow. I ain't going to lie to you. No cookout or anything. I'll pick up for cookout next year. But, um, yeah, no. I do want to go and get some fireworks. So, I'm, I might do that. I don't know. Okay, Deborah. Let me take the low power mode off of here because if I got to put this code in one more time. Okay. So after that, we have gasoline. Gasoline gets $60. And you know, we do two 20s and two 10s because um, both times we do $30 a piece. Sometimes I decide to do 40 and then save 20 for later. Um, either way actually helps out, which obviously would make sense. $60 is going to work either way. Um, but I do need to fill up on gas like ASAP. I mean, like real talk, y'all. I really do. Like I really have planned. And this is why it's so good for you to pull out your last three, when you're starting this journey, your last three bank statements and, you know, monitoring your expenses and seeing how much you're spending on specific categories. Because when I say I planned the $60 perfectly for my vehicle um and literally the 60 dollars will last me two weeks in my car and so right now i am about 50 maybe between 45 and 50 miles to e and i that's when i usually like to fill up again so i'm going to fill up tomorrow and that's just two weeks of me stuffing 60 dollars because i know how much i spend in that category. So if you're wondering, well, how do you really guess how much you should be putting inside of your variable expenses? Well, pull your last three bank statements. And, and I say last three because you never know. Sometimes things change, things shift. You have, Maybe you had a magic month. You spent more this month or less this month. So pull the last three and it'll show you a pattern. And you just, um, uh, I might do that one day on here um, just to show you kind of my processes. But um, yeah, and, and you go and you highlight and color coordinate your expenses and see how much you've been spending on specific areas. Um, groceries, I know I've been spending more. So lately I've been putting $120 in for groceries every month. I know I eat more in that than groceries. Um, I eat more than that in groceries. Did I say that the first time? I can't remember. But <laughs> so... But that is that way. I'm just doing what I can do for now because y'all know I went through that whole spiel of messing my finances up between April and May, um, between March, April and May. No, between March and April. And then I just got myself back on track in the month of May. Now we're in June and we're halfway there in July. We're going to be set and good to go. Okay. So that's why for the past few months, this has just been 120. We're actually going to do that again today and just put $60 in here, which will complete our 120 for this month because we put $60 in the last month. And then um, starting in August, actually, because in the month of um, July, I'm going to Dallas We'll get into all that a little bit later in another one of my videos. 
Um, but for now, we're going to put another $60 in here, and that's just going to be three 20s. All righty. But yeah, so sometimes you have to go back to the drawing board, actually look at your hard spending. What am I spending? Um, household gets $20, and that's just a 20 Okay. Um, dying out gets 20 and that'll just be a 20. I didn't put anything for miscellaneous. Okay, hold on. Miscellaneous gets 20 and that's two tens. And that is all. All of the categories have been stuffed. All right, great. And so what is in this wallet should last me the next two weeks. Um, and as you can see, I did not stuff a lot in here. That means I have to be mindful of my spending. Um, which I definitely plan to do because I'm not trying to get down to Dallas and I had no money. <laughs> so that'll be that. Guys, we are stuffing our, um, what is that called? High priority sinking funds. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. Okay, that's accurate. So let's go ahead. We're just going to do high priority today, which is fine. Let me tell y'all a little story, okay? I almost I almost was about to be frustrated. <laughs> really, but not really, because I would have had the money. But my car, I went out. Um, I took my goddaughter out on last Friday. And leaving the movie theater, my car started making this crazy noise and i'm like oh my gosh it just sounds expensive it just sounds like it's about to put a hole in my pocket and um so i'm like y'all this is just crazy like it was really just so bad so i parked my car friday and i did not drive my car saturday i did not drive my car sunday i did not drive my car monday monday my dad takes my car to the shop for me um because I'm like, you know, something has to give. We got to see what's going on because the noise was just so ridiculous. Long story short, he takes it to the mechanic. The mechanic goes fast in the car, slows down in the car, tries parking in the car. I mean, literally did everything, ran every test that there could be run um, to try to diagnose the problem. And long story short, my car wasn't making no noise, y'all. So I don't get what happened, but I'm just glad I don't have to kick out no money. Balance trackers are currently in my shop. They are for sale um, and they are printable. So I think they're just like $3 and then it's printable. You can print them as much as you like. Um, I just think they're so cute. They have a little stewardess on the back. So pretty. Um, so this category, I'm going to go ahead and start filling out these balance trackers. I do have sinking fund balance trackers in my digital budget book, but I'm the type of person where I like to have it multiple places. Like y'all have no idea how many just books I have of just making sure that this number, these numbers line up and balance with these numbers and line up and balance with these. So yeah, I'm doing it in multiple places. This is the Nissan category. And on 618, I am putting in, how much going car? Y'all can see this is my, my um, dashboard, my little dashboard to let me know how much I'm putting in. Uh, car maintenance, I'm putting $25 in here oh wait my start was zero okay it's nothing okay there's ain't nothing in it. <laughs> so we're going to add um 25 dollars and the balance is 25 all right so we're going to grab 20 let me look at my denominations just to make sure so we got a 20 and a five and we're going to put that in for the Nissan. 
cool. All right, and then we have medical. Um, I got this pen if you're curious. I'm not saying that you will be, but if you're curious, I got it from the Dollar Tree, honey. Okay. Um, start is zero. I don't think we have anything medical. Start is zero. We're going to add how much to medical? Medical gets twenty dollars, and so our balance is twenty dollars. Perfect. Long-term savings also has nothing. I'm not saying that it has nothing. It has nothing in this wallet because um, the money that I took out is in my savings account, in my bank account. But here in this wallet, I'm starting from what this wallet says and there's nothing in there, honey. <laughs> uh, Long-term. 618. It started with zero. We're going to add $10 to long-term savings. Gives us a balance of $10. Cool. Perfect. By now, you should have seen the update to the channel. Um, I miss doing my vlogs. What's next? Household. Household also has nothing. Um, I miss doing my vlogs. Um, but one thing that I'm aware of is that those who are following me on this channel, I built my subscriber um, count by showing budgeting, savings, sinking funds, cash stuffing videos, not from doing um, long term, like like uh, long vlogs, right? Even though I started doing long, long vlogs on this channel, my subscriber base increased when... I started doing the saving challenges and everything like that. And so I don't want to be rude and it's $0 starting here. Um, have you all watching content that you did not sign up to see? So I decided to change this to just being Save with Debrenay, this channel. Um, but so this is save, now Save with Debrenay. But Life with Debrenay will also be in effect. I have to wait 14 days <laughs> for the name to be open. Um, but Life with, Debra with Debrene is the name of my other channel, okay? Um, my my other channel is currently I Am Debrene because I have to wait for the time for that name to become available again. When that name becomes available, I'm going to switch it to Life with Debrene because that's going to be where I do my life content going back to my vlogs because I really do miss my vlogs. That's what I started off doing. That's what I want to get back to doing. Household is getting $10. Um, sorry, hopefully, hopefully that's not annoying you too bad. Um, household gets $10, but I want to get back to that content. Um, but I don't want to force that for the people who aren't here to see that they're here to see what they subscribed and signed up for, you know? Um, so if you are into vlogs and all that kind of stuff, go ahead and follow me. I will link my new page down below. I'm in the middle of doing a vlog now. This is spending, um, I'm in the middle of working on a vlog now, and we will have a vlog coming up next week. I got a lot going on, which is another reason why I wanted to bring it back, because I have a lot going on, guys. Like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, I want to bring y'all with me, those who are willing to see. Um, spending gets $10. Um, and so I'm like, you know, whoever wants to be a part, then come on and join me over there on that channel. But if you are all things budget and you're not really into the, you know, wanting to see behind the scenes or the, you know, in the life of somebody, then, you know, I, I want it to be fair to you and keep this channel what it what you came here to see. Um, this is birthday. Which also gets $10. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. So yeah, the channel has a name change. We got a new intro going on. When I say we have started over, oh, I have to make one more for this one. Since I'm not stuffing this one yet, I know I have some in my low priority binder. Since I'm not stuffing this binder this go around, I'm going to stuff it the next go around. I'm going to borrow this until I can remember to, um... Okay, don't be disrespectful. Go on in there. Until I can remember to um, 
make another one. So this is wardrobe. Um, this uh, this money that I'm putting in here, I actually shouldn't even be putting in here because I actually just made an order at Sheen. Um, I'm sorry, I just can't go to Dallas. I, I had to get something new. My 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 spirit <laughs> wouldn't let me not get something new for this trip. So I had to shop, but I'm still going to put $10 in here because I did budget for it. So wardrobe also gets the last $10 today. All righty then. So yeah, hopefully, you all, hopefully you all like the new intro. I feel good to be able to look in this binder and see that everything has something else in it again. <laughs> my goodness. It feels good to look in my wallet and see that every category oh goodness hold on i'm loving everything about this little thing i didn't notice until i was editing last time that you can hear it sliding in and out and also see it in the camera but it's cool because y'all know it's there because i told y'all it was there so it's gonna be fine because it's there um so i'm gonna put that in there and i might make this smaller it's a little bit more difficult to get that in there and put that to the side it feels good to be able to look in my wallet and see that all my categories has something in there. That's awesome. That is Cash Tray Empty. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video, which will be a uh, savings challenge video. I love you all. And until we meet again, y'all have a great week. God bless you.